Hello, everybody. Right, this is great. So, this is their review and a demo of, uh, we'll go through lots of the sounds and things and little bits and pieces of the uh, PPG Wave Mapper, which is the new app from Wolfgang Palm, that, that incredible genius. Um, this is a truly, truly great synthesizer. Uh, it sounds amazing. And if you like those, it's more akin, I suppose, to uh, FM sounding synthesis than analog, but you can create some really, really nice analog type sounds. And it has just limitless possibilities for creating sound very, very easily. So, okay, uh, I've got it midied up to um, my Roland GW8 for playing. Uh, I can also, uh, with this as well, as also if you move your fingers up and down the keys, if you've got them rooted to modulate, you can also do this with your MIDI keyboard, just by using, and the pitch bend of course. So this is an iPad 2 and the latency is uh, really, really fast. So you're presented with this sort of way, this mapping thing here with all these different icons on which you can move around. And I don't know if you can actually read it because this camera's not very good. But if we take the blue ones, are the oscillators, and there's three oscillators, and we can take this one off, say, which is on sitar. Oh, see? take this one off there and put it on there so you get the idea of how easy it is to actually change the sounds around okay so it comes with a, a, a massive uh, bank of presets so we can open the presets and there we go and that's kind of your first bank of startup presets so let's just run through a couple of these let's go to base station Okay, let's try this one, Secretory. Sounds just brilliant. Um, this is one by Wolfgang Palm. This one's very nice. So let's have a quick look at how to change some of these sounds around, okay? We can go back to mapping and again you're presented with the things. Now, these little circular things here, you can place in these pretty much what you want. So if you double tap it, it'll ask you to load a root, load a synthetic, load an instrument. Or you can clear the field, or you can bundle all of the all of these onto this one, which thing I'll show you in a minute. So, for instance, let's load a instrument. And we have all these instruments we can load in. So they're different, like wave shapes for those instruments. So let's uh, load in a harp and marimba there, and let's drop oscillator three. Actually, okay. So there's the sound, and there's a new sound. It's just me altering the pitch bend and modulation. So we can then go into parameters and we have our oscillator selection there. So we've got one, two, three. So first uh, set we're off. You can see how the wave follows the parameter. Wolfgang Palm explains this much, much better than I ever could. But this is the envelope, so we'll get a nice slow fade. Here it comes. Very, very nice. Then we have noise, different noises. There you go. Let's select a synthetic for that one. So 
let's go back to our presets. Some of these are obviously sort of special effecty type things. So, also another point in this is you're really, really gonna wanna um, save your own sounds for this. So the best way to do this is to create a new bank. Once you find a sound, I'll I'll quickly show you. See, so, so we've got I've created something called Doug's Bank, and these are the ones I was playing around with yesterday. Um, we can create a new sound. Or we can say, for instance, uh, oh, I know what we'll do. We have target bank. So we'll select target bank. We'll go back to the factories bank. And we'll say we'll go down to uh, ah, this, uh, this piano type. Okay, so let's go. And we can, we've got 93 places free in my bank. So if we go, this is your target, and this is where you are. So, say for instance, we want to play around with that sound and alter it and make one of our own. We'll go copy to target, and we'll see it's gone in because it's gone down to 92. Then we'll go to my bank and there it is so let's now go to mapping and see how quickly it'll change the sound quite drastically as well, well I'm gonna load um, sorry I'm gonna load another instrument in there I'm gonna something a bit more concert guitar and we're gonna drop an oscillator on there so right all right so for speed we're just gonna keep that so we're gonna to go to this little button here and it says save as a new program so okay we'll save that as a new program save as new program we'll change the name to PPG uh, I don't know, Doug Piano, okay, and okay, so if we go to my bank now, there, there we have the one we've just imported, and my altered version, it's a little bit convoluted and a little bit weird and it doesn't work quite like your other kind of programs do but once you get your hang of it it's really cool and I presume you can have as many banks as you like so okay it also has an arpeggiator I set up uh, one yesterday pipe arp which I altered slightly and another one which is pretty cool So that's basically how you can save your own sounds and then we can alter all these different things it has a delay and has performance section so you can do your arpeggio stuff you set up your arpeggios your keyboard type so you can select you know this is for the little keyboard here okay and you can do this for so this I really used to love the old PPG with had that classic like sort of vocal thing which is really okay. and 
this one, which is, I think, one of the presets I just dropped in. So, very cool. This sounds like it's kind of a... Also, the other super, super, super cool thing about this is that it's now audio. It was automatically audio bus when they developed it, so you can use this inside audio bus. And of course, now the Cubasis is in audio bus, and they've now allowed you to use Magellan as, a, as an effects processor as well. My God, my God, people, the the, the possibilities are endless. So anyway, it's another, another quick blast with some of the preset sounds it comes with. And we go to the factories bank. Let's uh, just just have a mess around with some of these. Hitchcock. And the, the, the kind of they've got them set with different sort of things, so you know that this will be this will be a pad. I like the use of operation in this. If we go to parameters, we can see. And we go to the oscillators, we can see that the three is slightly out of tune, so we'll bring it and that's slightly out, so we'll bring that in. There we go. Very, very, very cool indeed. Okay, so on this one, they you see they've had them bundled all together in one, so let's just... That's a noise, so if we go to there and say, oh that noise is too loud, we can always um, take down the noise levels somewhere I think if we got it, we have to find out where the the they decided to place the noise which I can't see it anyway you can take it out So, I rambled on for long enough, you get the idea, sounds absolutely fantastic, and uh, well worth adding to the old collection of synths, I think. Okay guys, see you later.